everyone, it's Miss A, and today in speech we're going to be doing animal yoga. I know you might be thinking, why is the speech teacher doing yoga? But I picked yoga for a lot of good reasons. The first being, you can work on speech and language in anything you do um, in your daily routine, and I want you to be working on it all day long with your kids. So yoga also helps um, promote a lot of important things for kids, like body awareness. Um, it also helps manage emotions. So right now a lot of kids might have anxiety or stress or if your child really easily excitable or angry and has trouble um, getting out of it, yoga might be a good um, tool to use to help them calm back down. It also works on increasing listening comprehension and vocabulary knowledge, which is a big aspect of speech and language. Um, not to mention it also works on awareness of the breath and breath support, and that's really important for um, adequate speech production when we need to be able to breathe from our tummy instead of from our um, chest for good speech production, especially prolonged speech. It, and um, it especially works on balance and strength, which are some nice gross motor skills. So today for speech, we're going to be targeting three different areas. The first area is vocabulary. Vocabulary knowledge, we're obviously going to be working on animals. So we're going to be working on identifying the different animals. Um, we might also be doing some categorizing, so talking about where the animals live, try to group them together, um, what the animal does, and that's something you can carry on with your child after the video is finished and using the um, same animal yoga game or little PDF I guess I sent you in um, the email this week, and also it'll be up on our website. That'll be um, up and running soon. The second area we're going to target today is following directions. So can your kid listen and hear what I'm saying and then make their body do it, which is really difficult, um, especially for little kids at this age, so they really might need some help and the task broken down. Um, and then the third area we'll be working on is obviously speech sound production. So I'm going to be breaking it down into different stages and you can pick up where your child is. So the, I'm going to be starting with vowels and then shaping and adding on more sounds and kind of stretching out how we produce the sound in what I call um, segmenting and then we're going to blend it all together and then put it in a sentence. So really help your child at the level they're at and help them follow along. Make sure you're doing it too and you can watch it as many times as you want.